Well, we have arrived. Tech base after tech base, we have survived a trip through hell, followed by more tech bases. Doom Guy has certainly come a long way for this slaughter fest. Now, at the other side of the caverns, he's about to go toe to toe with what the Soul Cube has said to be hell's mightiest warrior. Welcome back, one and all, to the final episode of Doom 3. Bring it on. charge up my soul cube in time for it though. Shots. Nice. I think we've got another Soul Cube worthy foe to, uh, coming up. No more race first. I think there's a Hell Knight coming afterwards though. Discs downloading to the PDA that we can look at. One, they, they mostly just talk about the ancient civilization. I'm not really going to look into it. I'm waiting for a big ugly to come into view, though. Oh, 
Oh. Look up. rocket with his fireball? Kind of looked like it. Destroy him. And that's my cue for the salt cube. That's not a fight, that's an execution. Oh, the fact a couple of Vagaries, I think they're called. You know what? I'm just gonna use the BFG on these bastards. Why, why even bother trying to fight them? BFG out, god damn it. Jesus. Works for me! Do you think that was a boss fight? Well, well, still nearly got my ass knocked out. But BFG and Soul Cubes, they solve everything. Is there? Okay, yeah. Up the stairs then. Really nowhere else to go. I just hope I can come across another big ugly so I can leech some health off of him. down. Uh. Oh, well that's an exit then. Well, the finale is coming up my friends. Lo and behold, we will face off with Hell's mightiest warrior and surely no doubt make a mockery of him. Until then, take care. Impressed? I see you've left all sorts of goodies for me too. Almost seem to have prepared me for this situation. With everything but fucking medkits. What on earth are so many stock munitions doing down here? Soul cube at the ready. I have the feeling that's what I'll be using to get my health back. Oh no. Archaeological discovery and analysis. Is that? The UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. 
These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. This is the burial chamber at hand, huh? Why are there copies of the tablets down here then, if I may ask? Oh boy. Oh, I know who that is. Like he's preparing for my arrival. Oh boy. They would definitely be getting their spread of hell throughout Mars down here, that's for sure. Going back now. Huh? <laughs> oh, isn't there a PDA here or some shit? Oh, I found the logo. Well, I found the logo. <laughs> but I didn't find. I, I, I could have seen there was maybe a PDA to go with that. Going up. We didn't run into the trigger. Look up. Whoa. The cyber demon. Hell's mightiest warrior. And that's the hellhole spawning out all these children. Need one more kill. Oh. That hurt. Yeah, go back to where you came from, asshole. Goodbye. Oh, he's still.
still taking a few more hits. So, that concludes the Doom 3 playthrough. If you've been with me at the very start, you'll remember that one of my objectives behind this was to see what change of heart I might have had whilst playing through it. At the time, I hated it for not being like classic Doom. At this point, I would say that as part of a series, it still doesn't feel like Doom despite having most of all the elements in place. Most. On its own, it's a well and good title with having a consistent level of action for most maps, solid storylining and atmosphere, certainly having graphics that, even without the sick, might have aged quite well in my opinion, and just other smaller things like jump scares, good voice acting, satisfying weapons, and hell, even having fun boss fights too. Of course, a lot of this positive Excuse me, a lot of this positivity was felt all the more for running through each chapter in an Iron Man permadeath style which has a frantic feeling to it all. So why doesn't it feel like Doom if it shares so many elements in conjunction with Classic Doom for me? Well, Classic Doom's level design was all about abstract design and was a place by name and theme only but never purely an architecture, so that often led to all sorts of memorable maps such as Barrels of Fun, Dead Simple, uh, Classic Doom E1M9's military base, and even Odyssey of Noises from Final Doom the Plutonia experiment. But here in Doom 3, the level design just seemed to appear to take a more realistic approach. And while that means there aren't any maps that feel like that map a game could do without, Rarely any map stood out as being memorable at all. Shit, even now, the only maps that truly stand out in my mind at this point, even after playing the game and recording constantly, are the Hell Chapter in the Computer Banks area, and maybe the Caverns as well, because of variety and architecture and design for once. For all having decent layouts, as well as frantic action. On top of that, some of the monster redesigns are just terrible. Especially the Hell Knight, the Cacodemon, the Imp, and the Lost Soul. To me, they just didn't look like Hell's minions, even when they were reskinned. 
Although I do assure you that when it comes to the remodeling for the rest of our old demon friends, I did like what they look like. And on top of that, I love the new monsters in the series and their designs, most notable being the maggots and the trites. And especially the vagary and the cherubs. Love those things. Those two latter monsters are as hellish as they get, and I loved them. I guess when it comes to the monster designs in particular, I have mixed feelings, but it is mostly positive. So, in conclusion with the good and the bad, I would say that if you haven't played Doom Freak yourself yet, I would say that if you're interested in trying it, give it a go. I like it enough to say that, but to caution you to make your own judgement if you've been a die-hard classic Doom fan. I will say though that, if nothing else, I enjoyed it more than enough to boot up Resurrection of Evil, which is the expansion pack for Doom 3, so by all means, expect that to come around the corner next week. For now, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who has watched every episode that came down the pipeline, and hopefully you enjoyed this endgame ramble too. In closing... What are your thoughts on Doom 3? I mean, did you like it? Or hate it when it came out? Has your opinion changed since? I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts and launch a discussion in the comments section with you all. For now, take care. This is Blood Art Draken, signing out.